And some breaking news today surrounding 2020 U.S. Open champion Bryson DeChambeau. Golf Channel has confirmed that DeChambeau, who has battled injuries in 2022, will undergo surgery on Thursday for the fractured bone in his left hand. You'll recall during his Monday press conference at the Masters, Bryson said his doctors recommended that I don't come back for a while. They said if you go out and hit golf balls and you feel somewhat comfortable, you consider it. And they're like, you should really let it heal. For more on this breaking news, welcome in Rex Hogg. Rex, what can you tell us about this story involving Bryson? Yeah, Damon, a member of Bryson's camp confirmed that he is going to have surgery later this week. He wasn't 100% sure if it was going to be Thursday. So it will be sometime later this week. Now, this stems from the injury he sustained. He talked about this at the Masters last week. When he was playing in the Saudi International back in February, he was playing ping pong, fell down, braced himself with his left hand, and broke his handmate bone, which is about right there. And it's a common injury for baseball players, and we've seen it from time to time with golfers. But it's been complicated by the idea. We all know how much force he has when he swings. So this is something that had been bothering him ever since he came back. His first event back was the WGC match play just a few weeks ago. He didn't make it out of pool play there, and then he missed the cut in his last two starts. And he said he was only about 80%, and this was something that he felt like he had to do moving forward. Now, the interesting thing here, I did talk to one tour trainer. He said the normal recovery period on an injury like this is around six weeks. But for someone that swings a golf club with that much velocity, you start getting into the 10-week period and suddenly the majors start coming into play. The PGA Championship is five weeks away from right now and then of course you get to the US Open which if he would of course want to play and so all of these things are going to depend on how well the surgery goes but right now we have confirmed he's having surgery. Rex Hogger, senior writer with GolfChannel.com with the breaking news. Bryson DeChambeau to have surgery on that injured left hand. I turn to my colleague Jaime Diaz. Jaime, uh, this is a, a, a bit of a surprise perhaps or not. This is someone who's been trying to play through some injury, through some pain, early back when he changed his body. If there was a concern, it was about what it would do, the forces, the swing speeds, and now this news. Well, I'm surprised that he got hurt in the first place, although we don't know how much the ping pong injury was actually the cause. But if it was golf, I'm surprised because all along he knew he was going to extreme territories here physiologically whether yeah. it was his body or his hands every part of him was going to be taken to a force level that no one probably who's ever played tournament golf has ever taken so it was inherently dangerous but I thought you know he was taking precautions he's the smart guy about science and and uh, the biology and fi physiology and everything else and still got hurt so I think you know that says that he was maybe a little haphazard about this which is too bad because He's got so much talent, and, you know, if his goal is to be the greatest golfer, uh, you don't mess around with your hands. And then, secondly, I was surprised that he played at all at the match play. Yeah. You know, I mean, if you're going to talk about your hand, that is, that's the most important part of a golfer's body. Uh, and, you know, we've seen great players. John Cook, you know, had a hammock injury, and it, it, uh, it hammock bone injury. It took a long time, a couple of surgeries to get it right. It sometimes can be complicated. So let's hope for the best. In 10 weeks, whatever it takes, be conservative with it. Make sure it's, you know, healed completely so you can do what you want to do with the golf club and you're not compromising because that's what he was talking about. Well, I'll go 80 percent. No, it's got to be 100 percent healed yeah. and you don't mess around with your hands. It's a loss for the game. He's a big mm -hmm. personality. The way he hits the golf ball, uh, I think he sometimes, you know, says interesting things or maybe the wrong things sometimes. He loves the game. He loves finding different ways yeah. to go about mm -hmm. winning on the PGA Tour. Do you think that this is a moment in time where he and Chris Como and Mike Shy and his team will have to take a second look at the body change, at the swing speeds that they've been creating and say, you know what, maybe for the long-term health of Bryson, this is not the route we can continue to go down. Very possibly. I think if he's right, he can still swing hard. But I think also there's been diminishing returns on the driver. I mean, mm. it's great that he got longer and the analytics show that he had an advantage, but it's been diminishing returns in terms of the rest of his game not necessarily progressing and keeping up. When you're hitting the ball that far and you're hopefully in the fairway, you want to have a great wedge game, and he doesn't. And I think it's time to turn his attention to those other shots and the rest of the bag, much like but just Dustin Johnson did. Yeah. Dustin Johnson is a supreme driver, not as long as Bryson, but relative to the rest of the tour, very, very long. And he didn't get great until he focused on his wedges. And I, I think Bryson should start talking about and thinking about and, and focusing on the rest of the bag, the scoring area. How do you shoot the lowest score? That's the final you know, goal. And maybe goal. focusing on the PGA Tour, he's so additive to the professional game. Is, is he trying to have it all? 
with the dabbling with the, the world-long drive game. The long drive was a, a fun thing because it was demonstrating what he had learned. Sure. You know, and kind of stretching the boundaries of the game and in a very vivid way. Yeah. And learning from Kyle Berkshire and those guys to do something that he was going to yeah. take into tournament golf. So that was fine. But to actually be a long drive exhibition guy, no. Yeah. That, then I think the priority is off. The priority should be on the performance on the golf course. The other thing is just, just to show people what's possible. Yeah. But not to be some kind of long drive champion or just gain a lot of attention for it. I mean, yeah. at this point, the attention should be from playing the best golf you yeah. can. That's always, to me, the when someone's gifted like Bryson, put it into the performance. You don't have to talk about it. It speaks for itself. I always bring up Tiger. He's the model of that. Yeah. Let the clubs do the talking. He was a marvel to watch in 2020 at Wingfoot, and it's a bummer that he's hurt. It's we wish bummer. him a speedy recovery. I'm sorry for him, and I just hope the best for yeah. him. Yeah. Hope to see him back later this summer.